Oh goody, we have a box. A box that's arrived from China. And it was shipped on the... Um, uh, try, I think, try, like, 26, 4, 17, so 17, 4, 6. So the 6th of this month, um, probably you know, 8 o'clock, I don't know, I can't quite work that out. China Post. And let's have a look at what's inside it. Um, bubble wrap in the bin. I don't feel that stressed that I need to pop it all. And we have a little kit. Um, the box says integrated circuits. And uh, that's great. But, um, so let's keep the little box over there. What we have here is the um, frequency counter kit that I ordered. Um, so let's have a look what we've got inside here. Um, so we have... Uh, empty, yes, an empty anti-static bag. We have a socket for an IC stuck in with the resistors. Come on, out you come. So you have to try not to bend anything. Um, you have five LED uh, seven segment displays. Okay, what do we have there? We have a diode, another resistor. I don't know if that's the same as these ones looks like the same value so uh, yep okay a bit more diodes don't know whether they're all the same yet but uh, we'll soon find out we have a reference crystal an integrated circuit which is a PIC 16 f 628 a which I believe is already programmed uh, power socket uh, couple of uh, electrolyte uh, not electrolytics couple of uh, ceramics and some more little ceramic capacitors a uh, little three-way edge connector and a few transistors all oh, and uh, another resistor isn't it yep that's the same as those that's a different one um, so no instructions um, I'm getting quite used to this no instruction lock, aren't I? Uh, push button switch and a PCB. So, looking at this, what have we got? Um, diodes, capacitors, transistors, nothing that isn't um, immediately obvious, um, although I noticed that this is marked X3 which means that these diodes are not all the same or I don't think they're all the same so we'll have to figure out which ones they are the 9 volt socket 1k 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 sounds rude doesn't it 1k 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 100k and a 10k ah so one of these loose diode uh, loose resistors is not the same as the others a little trim apart, little capacitor to there, yes, so that would be the push button switch. I think everything um, everything there is uh, fairly straightforward, isn't it? So uh, let's just uh, go ahead and put it together. Um, let's start with these now, because there are the most of these, uh, I think these will all be the 1K resistors. Oops, sorry, I've still got heating compound from the last video. Um, so let's go ahead and stick all of these in. Uh, put it in the right hole. Said the actress to the bishop. We could go into all sorts of rude and crude comments, couldn't we? But we're not going to because this is a family show. It's about building electronics. Um, I don't know if uh, anybody um, has got any opinions on my sort of rough and ready methods of construction. Um, whether you're whether you're completely horrified or whether you think um, 
I'm a bit of an animal when it comes to putting things together, you know, so, as, it, so as if I don't sort of care. Um, um, it's yeah. If you've got any comments, uh, leave them. Leave them below. I don't uh, disable comments, good or bad. I take the criticisms as well as the praises. Um, it's just, but uh, the whole point of the way I do things, especially on these little kits in the lunchtime electronic series, is just to show you all how easy it is. Um, to do and as long as you can identify components uh, as to what they are um, you should be able to uh, just put these things together um, really without any knowledge of the workings of the circuit itself um, you know if you want something that counts frequency then buy a kit like this throw it together and uh, assuming that it works um, and you, you've soldered it incorrectly then you will have a kit that uh, allows you to count frequency um, if you wanted a kit that just did um, well like we did with the flashing blue light um, you know you don't need to know how the thing counts how the thing uh, does its does its mojo you just need to know that uh, it works and um, you don't have to have millions of pounds worth of test equipment or anything like that as you see you know um, all you need is a few basic tools that you can uh, that you can solder with and um, you know cut wires pair of pliers to hold things right and the reason I've only done one on each of those is so that I oh there's my phone and my wrist has just buzzed because uh, I'm wearing one of those new fangled uh, um, fitness monitor things just to see if I'm still alive or not um, and again I didn't spend money on a branded one but I bought one from China because that's what I'm like and um, yeah uh, I am not spending money on Samsung's Fitbit so yeah anyway back to soldering uh, as you see you know it it's not a difficult skill to learn um, yes okay I've had years of practice and I mean years of practice I'm, I'm 50 years old and uh, I think ever since my my first job uh, involves soldering so um, yeah well, I have been I have been doing it for a little while but uh, it doesn't take 50 years to learn it's it's not like um, one of those skilled trades like um, woodworking craftsman um, which you only get the experience with age um, you can you can pick soldering up in a matter of uh, matter of a day or so it's just a case of practicing um, yeah I'll admit surface mount components are a different kettle of fish you have to get used to the fact that these things are the size of sort of uh, um, half your toenail clipping or whatever you want to call it um, now let's have a look at this resistor um, 10030 that's 100k um, yeah learning the resistor color code it again you can do it there are rhymes out there um, the one I learnt when I learnt resistor color codes is not suitable for anybody politically correct um, I can't remember the uh, politically correct version so I'm not even going to try but uh, uh, the colours all follow the same format um, whether it be on resistors or um, even ribbon cables are marked in the same order um, if you get a piece of the uh, old computer ribbon cable that is uh, that's that's just marked literally as um, zero to uh, zero to nine uh, and is very very straightforward 
Um, so we've got a 10k resistor and a 10k resistor. So they must be 10k resistors rather than 1k. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, 1, 0, 0, so 100 with another 0 at the end. That doesn't look like red to me. Let me get the magnifying glass out. It is, it is red, and that's why, um, you know, yeah, by all means, use your multimeter. Uh, and again, you don't have to go out. Yep, yeah, 10k. You don't have to go out and spend one, two, three, four hundred pounds on a fluke, latest and greatest, top of the range meter. Um, in fact, I only recently well, I got this one. When did I get this one? A little while ago. But I bought it off eBay second hand. Um, I wasn't worried about it being second hand because, uh, yeah. Flute meters generally don't go wrong unless you um, leave them on the amps range and dead short across a, a main circuit or something. Um, but uh, generally, fluke equipment is good. But you can pick up a um, Chinese multimeter for about a fiver. Um, you can certainly get them for from Maplins, um, although I don't like saying that name out loud too often. Um, I think even Poundland don't do them, but certainly Wilco's, I think, do. Um, Halfords, I think they sell multimeters. Um, they sell them as car testers, but um, they're effectively the same thing. They're multimeters. And, um, yeah, you just uh, buy a cheap and cheerful one. Whether you get a digital one or an analog one um, is up to you. Both have their merits, and in some cases the analog ones are better. Um, unless you've got a top-of-the-range digital one, of course. Um, because of the way the needle moves, you can actually see various changes, whereas with a digital one it just flickers, and um, you don't actually know what it's saying. So, um, might as well put this uh, IC socket in. There's the notch, there's the notch. Let's just uh, make sure that that fits in there. Turn it over. See, it's not sitting flat at the moment, but uh, that isn't an issue. Let's just make sure it goes in. Um, one end pin. And then opposite end. Let's just make sure it sits flat, yep. And then we can just uh, quickly go one, two, three, we can just solder through these pins, uh, as I say, you know, once you get used to soldering, you can just rapidly do this, um, it doesn't take long at all, um, I've worked in production environments where there'd be uh, a few lines of women um, with soldering irons and uh, circuit boards in front of them, all doing hand, hand assembly, they place the components and then they could solder a board even quicker than I can. Um, they were just so good. It was boom, 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 and it just they just flew through it. Um, and that's not saying that not even a woman can do it because uh, no, it's just that they were very, very good at it. They were experts and um, they weren't all old. They weren't all young. Um, a variety of ages. Um, so. As I say, you can learn it. It's just a case of practice. Uh, the more you do it, the better you get at it. Um, that's what my wife says anyway. So again, we'll just uh, poke the crystal through. Okay, what we've got to try not to do with the crystal is overheat it because you can damage them. So. Uh, as quickly as possible on those. Um, what have we got left? Right, um, we've got those little diodes. Now, they're not all 4148s, I'm sure. Um, I'm sure I 
do them one at a time and that way I can see properly. Full one, I'll have to use the very small one. That's a 4148. Uh -huh. 4148 times 3. Uh, I bet they are all 4148s. There's nothing different, is there? Times 3, is there another one? And the four, no, they're all the same. So there's me thinking they're different, and x3 just meant times 3. Oh, I'd be a right idiot sometimes. Dum dum dum. So three diodes, where's the fourth one? There's the fourth one. There we go, let's just turn them over. Again, I'm gonna do one leg at a time, make sure they sit flat. Poking its head out. And that one. And Quick note to self fingernails are quite impervious to heat, so. Uh, you can use your fingernails and you won't feel the burning. That is unless you chop them right down or whether you bite your nails. If you bite your nails then uh, you won't have enough left to use to push down on the components. So... Um, try these two one oh two one oh two da, 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 da. what's one there? What's that one? One oh four, one oh four. Uh, it's more of a guessing game as to where they belong really. Um try to see whether there it is. can do this just to bend them out and then they'll stay in position um, it's uh, actually got to clean the tip because it's looking a bit grim So what have we got here now? Again, magnifying glass time because I'm blind. How's the time going? A minute left. 7550. Uh, put the flat side there, flat side. Just make sure the lines aren't crossed over. Here, 9018, there, 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 push that little devil down, which means this has got to be the last one, which is 9014, which goes in this end. Now, as you see, you know, with these Chinese kids, you don't need instructions. Just need to be able to find the way around the board. Uh, 28 seconds. So let me just solder these. Then when the camera goes click, I shall restart it.
Okay, time that one, Lord. And I got all three soldered. And watch the timer reach zero. Let's just chop the legs off the transistors. So 22 puffs. Uh, are these all 22 puff? No, it's not being politically incorrect. Pika Farad, I've heard them called puffs, puffs, piffs, um, all sorts. Um, it's either, you know, depending on what I've been listening to, uh, or where I've been, or who I've been listening to. Sometimes it's puff, sometimes it's puff. Sometimes I just waffle to myself for no reason at all, don't I? Yeah, there we go. Um, do, 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 do. There's going to be two more, two more, two more, two more. Have they given us too many capacitors? Well, I'm not going to complain about that. Looks like there's too many of those. Okay. So let's just. Uh, Let go of the wire when you let go of the soldering on. It usually helps. Right, so that's that. So what else have we got? We've got uh, the push button, which goes that way round because it's not square; it's rectangular. So you can't get it the wrong way around unless you really, really force it. Okay. Um, power socket. Which goes in there. Can I do it by resting it? Or does it stick up too much? No. I'm going to have to hold it. Do it like that so you can see. Once you've got one leg in, you can put it down and then just solder it normally. Okay. So, yeah, that's in nicely. What have we got left? We've got trimmer. Okay. Again, I think this is going to be a hold once. Is it will get extremely warm because they are just straight connector pins. So fingernail. Ugh. Come on, get in there. I should make an outtakes video, shouldn't I? Of all the, uh, the bumbling and the, the fumbling around that I do. I'm just going to 
do the hot one and put up the heat. There we go. So that's in there, nice and tight. There. There. All that's left now is the display modules. Um, right now, the dots would go to the bottom. Let's turn them all the right way up, shall we? Let's just fit them in. Go on, in you go. There we are. Pin slightly bent there. of them. Just to make sure they sit flat. do actually sit nice and flat so here we go clean the tip these bits a little bit we go. Let's just uh, make sure we get the chip the right way around. Pin one, pin one. Just uh, make all those line up nicely. Yep. yep. And then we go. All built. Now I've just got to find something to test it out with. So, um, I'll pause the video at this point and I shall uh, find a power socket or find a power supply and then find something that we can measure the frequency of. So, back in a bit. Right, okay, now we're back and um, I have found something to uh, to test. 
uh, in Aslo, Chris Lossolator frequency counter test thingy. Um, what I've found uh, in my box is uh, a couple of crystals, well, four crystals basically. Um, I don't, I don't have any other bits and pieces, but I did find a manual online for this. Um, and it allows you to use it as a frequency counter in a radio um, using this connector here. Um, I did wonder about this, and um, if you do use it in sort of a in a fixed oscillator sort of situation or a variable oscillator situation, you can power the thing through this socket here and measure the frequency here. So that's an option but here we go now I've got here the first crystal is marked 7.040 now you'll get a flash on the screen because of the um, because of the uh, light now let's see um, but to me obviously the display is perfectly stable I wonder if turning the lights down will make things any better um, hopefully you can read that but there you go it says 7.0400 so it says that crystal is you know um, what it is now we're lucky that I've got crystals that have got values marked on you do get crystals without values um, now this one has 28 megahertz marked on it but let's see Get in. Nine point three three six five. So um, to get twenty seven from nine, um, th uh, three times that by three. So it's actually using a tripler, a triple overtone to get twenty eight megahertz. Uh, let me just get my little tiddly calculator out from here and let's just check that um, so 9.3365 yeah it's not a very good diddly calculator 9.3 365 no the battery's gone in that did it Hey, I've got a seven on the screen. Yeah, let's cancel it. Nine point three three six. No, it's it's gone. Uh, let's get the uh, overhyped, mega expensive calculator out, shall we? Um, let's uh, find it here. here. <coughs> As you see, it has strange noises. Oh look, I've had an AliExpress order ship. Um, this is even more flickery than display on there. So 9.3365 times 3 equals 28.095 megahertz. So yes, that's used in um, third harmonica mode. Third harmonic, not harmonica mode. It doesn't whistle. Um, to get the 28 megahertz so that one's there and oh, what else have we got we've got a 4 megahertz crystal and if we just plug that into the socket um, okay 4 triple zero four so again pretty well spot on um, I think we can call that a success lunchtime electronics here we are Thanks very much for watching and um, hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye for now.